हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम वेलकम एंड वेलकम या सो वी आर इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ शेप्स फेमसली कॉल्ड एज जोमेट्री आई एम श्योर यू हैव फॉलोड टिल नाउ लास्ट थ्री वीडियोस प्रॉपरली ऑल अबाउट लाइंस एंगल्स ट्रायंगल्स पॉलीगॉन्स कोऑर्डिनेटर्स एंड सर्कल्स यस सो इन टुडेस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री डायमेंशनल फिगर्स एंड मेंसुरेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट सरफेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम ओके you see these shapes everywhere around you yeah so let's get started yes you know all the 3d figures are classified into two categories prism based and pyramid based let's see what are they exactly so let's see what is prism yeah so flat base flat top and side walls are rectangular yes what is right prism then the word the prefix right means i am sure you must have recall the way we have right angle it is something to do with 90 degree yes flat base flat top but side walls are perpendicular to both these then we can call it as a right prism okay clear great now depending upon what shape is involved in the base and top we can name it the way you saw here it is hexagonal right prism as hexagon was involved here yes triangular right prism i am sure you must have guessed the name yeah circular right prism also called as correct cylinder so right circular cylinder now we need to learn two things about them that is volume and surface area let's see what is volume first first visualize like this what does this tell you yes how much it can hold what is the content correct the amount of substance or matter contained in a solid is exactly its volume okay So let's see how to find this. Check what's happening. Whatever area of the base was there, same area was kept one above the other till the entire height got occupied, right? So area of the base and multiplied by height. So area of the base added h times. In short, area of the base into height. That is how we derive the volume of the right prism. So all the prism base figures, nothing but cube. cuboid cylinder we will be using this thought only friends area of the base into height all right cool let's go ahead with surface area check this what's happening you can visualize obviously painting is happening which surface do you paint if it is a closed figure yeah all the exposed outer surfaces right so surface area is nothing but area of all the exposed surfaces exposed word is important ever if sometimes suppose you get confused which surfaces exposed surfaces these two are nothing but the flat surface area yeah area of the base and the top and this is like area of the walls that will be called as lateral surface area so flat surface area and lateral surface area these are the two components of total surface area cool okay Let's see how do we find it. First, I have just dismantled, unbundled all the figures, so that you can see all the surfaces clearly. All right, cool. Now see, so area of the base into two will be nothing but flat surface area because base and top are the same figures, same regular polygons. In fact, yes, and then this lateral surface area, all the rectangular walls are involved. If you just stretch it, which figure? Rectangle. Super. So area of the rectangle is nothing but length into breadth. Now let's connect it with the prism. Length exactly is what? Can you see this yellow line paralleling both? Yes. It is nothing but what? It is nothing nothing but boundary or perimeter of the base. And this breadth is what? Yes. It is nothing but the height of that prism. so perimeter of the base into height becomes the formula for lateral surface area okay and what will be total surface area addition of both these all right understood great let's go ahead and explore pyramids pyramids what is a pyramid i am sure when i say pyramid egypt pyramids and all those things come to your mind right come to your mind yes there is a flat base triangular walls they all taper they meet at one common point that one common point is called as apex 
Now this is a general pyramid. So what will be a right pyramid? Yes. When this happens exactly like this, that is the apex is exactly above, right above the base. Yeah. Means if you join the apex to the base, there will be a perpendicular line. This will be nothing but the height of the pyramid as well. All right. Cool. Now depending upon the shape involved, you can name it. So this is hexagonal right pyramid because base is a hexagon. Yeah. Triangular right pyramid, also called as tetrahedron. Yes. Circular right pyramid. Oh, very famous. Right circular cone. Cone bolte mind me kya hai? Oh, ice cream cone, obviously. Sorry. Okay. Again, the two things volume and surface area. So let's see. Right pyramid. Again, what is volume? How much it can hold? The amount of the matter contained inside. So area of the base into 1 by 3 into height. This is the height. So here 1 by 3 is a factor attached because the base area is not distributed uniformly till height h. That base area is constantly reducing. So don't worry about the derivation part of that 1 by 3. Just remember in pyramid it is 1 third. Extra number is 1, part, one third extra factor. Area of the base into height was for prism where base area was uniformly distributed across height h. But here it is not. Hence 1 by 3. Something like that. Just remember like this. This is your something about the planning of surface area. Okay. So for right pyramid, let's plan it out. So first of all, flat surface area will be what? Area of the base. And lateral surface area will be area of these triangles. Now, when I, when I say area of the triangle, what comes to your mind? First thought is half into base into height. And total surface area laterally will be area of one triangle added n times, right? n times area of one triangle. So n times area of each triangular face. We are defining the base and the height. One more thing if you observe, whatever the height of this triangle is, it is nothing but it looks like in the context of pyramid slant, tilted, you know. So we also call it as slant height. So be very careful and specific when you talk about height in case of pyramids. So one height was like the earlier height which you saw a segment joining apex to midpoint of the base rightly directly above the base was the apex right and slant height is nothing but the height of the triangular wall area of one triangle is half into base into height into n such triangles okay now what about n into b yes the base is getting added n times so it is nothing but what perimeter perimeter of the base and into half so half of the perimeter, which is also called as semi-perimeter. Superb. And this H is which height? Height of the triangle, which is slant height of the pyramid. Isn't it? The lateral surface area is semi-perimeter of the base into slant height. Remember this general form. Okay. All right. Now let's apply this specifically. First cube, which is also Yes, square prism. So all the three dimensions that is length, breadth and height are all equal. The volume is nothing but area of the base into height. Base is the squares. So area of the base into height. All right. Lateral surface area. Side walls. There are four such walls. So four x square. Area of one wall is x square into four. Also, if you remember the logic, perimeter of the base into height. So perimeter of the base is 4x into height is x. Remember that rectangular shape? Yeah, that one. Now flat surface area, again, base area into 2. Base area is a square area. So x square into 2, so 2x square. So what will be total surface area? Simple, addition of both these. Cool. One more thing, friends, one more thing. You know, what is the longest rod which you can place inside this cube? Yes, it will be something like this. This is also called as body diagonal. And I am interested in finding the length of this body diagonal. Length bola to kitna choice? Wo che choice yaad hai? Pythagoras, similarity, area, Apollonius, triangle inequality, and trigonometry. So I'm going to plan the very easy thing here. Pythagoras. So I'm completing this triangle. First of all, I need this base. This was nothing but the hypotenuse of this triangle. Yeah. So that will be nothing but root of x square plus x square. So root of 2x square. This is x only. So ultimately this length of body diagonal will be root of root of 2x square means 2x square plus that other x square. So 3x square 
and root of 3x square you know very well is x times root 3 so length of body diagonal the longest rod which you can place inside the cube is root 3 times x or x root 3 understood clear friends all right Our next figure is cuboid what is cuboid yes 3d version of rectangle or rectangular prism so here all the three dimensions are different length breadth and height so volume was nothing but area of the base into height. So base is rectangle. So L into B into H. L, B, H. L, B, H. Yes. Lateral surface area. Perimeter of the base into height. Yes. So perimeter of the base is 2 times L plus B into height. I hope you remember that general form. Isn't it? Now flat surface area. Base area into 2. Base area is L, B into 2. So 2 L, B. So what will be total surface area? Yes, addition of both these, so ultimately two can be taken common. So two times LB plus BH plus LH. Got it? Here also, you can find body diagonal, the way we found in the earlier case. So length of body diagonal in this case will be, there it was root of x square plus x square plus x square, three x square. Here, all the three dimensions are different. So L square plus B square plus H square. Okay, if all these three are equal, three x square, so x root three. Easy to connect. Yes. Cylinder. Cylinder. Volume will be nothing but area of the base into height. Cylinder is also? Yes. Circular prism. So base area is pi r square circle into height. So pi r square h. Lateral or curved surface area. Remember perimeter of the base which is 2 pi r into height. So perimeter of the base which is like nothing but the length of that rectangle. So if you open the cylinder, you will see rectangle only, right friends? The length will be nothing but perimeter of that cylinder. Perimeter of that circle, sorry. And breadth will be height of that cylinder. So 2 pi r h. And flat surface area is area of the base into 2. So pi r square into 2. Total surface area, of course, addition of both these. 2 pi r you can take common. So r plus h. All right. Understood? Great. Next is our pyramid, circular pyramid. So write circular cone. So H is the normal height and L is the slant height. Did you see H, R and L very clear? And a volume is what? That extra factor of one by three. Remember one third area of the base into height. So one third pi r square H. Great. Lateral or curved surface area. Yes, remember the triangle ka area we had derived. So semi-perimeter of the base into slant height. Perimeter of the base is 2 pi r, uska half, so pi r. So semi-perimeter of the base into slant height. So this L was slant height, be careful. Flat surface area is very easy. Area of the base which is circle, so pi r square. And total will be addition of both these. Pi r common, r plus L. Cool? Great. And how do you relate H, R, R, and L? Yes, Pythagoras, simple, right angle, triangle. Next is sphere. Yes, what a figure, sphere, solid sphere. So volume is straight away, remember please, four by three times pi r cube. In volume, you'll always have three lengths, right? Lateral or curved surface area is four pi r square. Flat surface area, nothing, there's no flat surface here. So total surface area will be same as lateral or curved surface area. Okay, now if I cut it from the center, yes, you'll get something called as a hemisphere, half of the sphere. So volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, lateral surface area or curved surface area, 2 pi r square. So volume was half of the original volume, right? So 2 by 3 pi r cube. It was 4 by 3 pi r cube, uska half. And lateral or curved, earlier the curved surface area was 4 pi r square. Half of that, so 2 pi r square. Flat surface area, can you see? Yes. This is that circle? Correct. So pi r square. So the, earlier in the sphere, flat surface was not there. Here it is there, if you cut it. You can visualize that watermelon. Beach mein se cut ka do red portion. 
Yes. And total surface area will be addition of both these. So 3 pi r squared. Cool. Okay. Now, some simple shortcut for some tricky questions which you want to solve logically. So in case of figures that are similar, area is always proportional to square of any linear dimension. So area is proportional to some linear dimension square. And volume is proportional to cube of any linear dimension. Remember this. We'll be using this in solving some questions. Okay. Now, friends, one more, one more term you, which you might see in the question frustum. What is a frustum basically? It's nothing but a derived shape. So this is a cone you can see. So if I cut the cone from here and that cutting is happening parallel to the base. So this is like height and radius of the bigger cone, original cone. And that small r and small h is the radius and the height of the above cone. If you remove it, so this shape which got highlighted now is frustum, something like your bucket. Yeah. Or that, uh, you know, that pouch in which you get the French fries of McDonald's. Yes, that is frustum. Then again, you can easily plan if you know this thought volume and other things. So volume will be in a volume of that bigger cone minus a volume of the above cone. And how do you relate uh, importantly, first thing, these dimensions of smaller and the bigger cones, similarity. Yes. So the ratio of the heights is same as ratio of the red eye and same as ratio of the slant heights. So capital L is a slant height of the bigger cone and small L of course is a slant height of smaller cone. So volume is bigger cone volume minus smaller above cone volume. So remaining volume is the volume of the first term. Similarly, surface area can derive it as lateral surface area of the bigger cone minus smaller cone. And total surface area will be in this, you'll add the base area and the top area. Okay. All right. Cool. I hope you understood this. So friends, that's it. This is the end of this episode. So in this episode, in this session, in this video, I'm sure you understood whatever we discussed all about 3D figures, prism, their area and volume, pyramid, their surface area and volume. And then the regular figures, cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone. And then we also saw sphere, hemisphere, all those things. And at the end, frustum. So this is the basic minimum content which is required to crack questions based on 3D mensuration. All right. So thank you so much for giving your valuable time in listening to this video. I'm sure you understood. Take care. See you in class. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.